what's up guys welcome back to my channel i got something to tell you this background is fake so in this video i'm going to show you guys how to create background like this so this is the original background where i recorded this yeah so this is pretty easy it's very very easy and you don't need to spend anything you know buy anything expensive because some people do want to record videos but they're having issues with their environment they don't have a youtube studio and all that so you just need the following things make sure you have something that you can make uh, put your phone there for it to be stable like a tripod that'll be good and you also need some light depend on your environment then you also need uh internet and your phone or your computer to do the editing all right so if you're ready let's get into it guys so let's go to the next step so i want to show you guys how to get the background to use for your videos so go to your browser and you search for free pick so we're going to be using this website free pick so i'm using my phone for this video so go to free pick open the website the first link and you go there and you search for youtube just go there and search for YouTube Studio and search. Alright, cool. You're going to see a lot of, of YouTube Studios that you can use. So these are YouTube Studio background pictures that you can just download any of them into your, your phone and use. So we could choose any. Let me say the first or the second one. Uh, okay, let's just take this one. Let's take the first one okay it's no big deal let's take the first one click on the first one and then you scroll up and then you'll see download the green one just click on download and you get free download click on it if you want to go premium to get other pictures from it okay that's cool so that's it you can just download it into your phone like that that's one way to get um the background that's one way to get the background picture you can use for your video all right so another way you is by using ai so if you go online and you search for leonardo ai search for leonardo ai here this is you're going to see the first link and then you click on it so they're going to ask you to create an account so you click on create account and you use your your google account to you know sign in or create an account they'll ask you to write a, a name for yourself ask you what do you want to use this app that's it it's pretty easy so this is the home page of the application of the website sorry this is the home page so they will give you 150 coins each day to create images on this website so i'm just going to go straight to uh, image creation i'm not trying to do a tutorial on how to use this website so image creation go straight to it so this is what you're going to get here so if you look here you see your coins 150 this is for a new account or someone who has used an, their account and you know wait for 24 hours for it to be reloaded so now you decide the number of images that you want to create here one two three four five six seven eight. it depends okay and if you want to go pro you can do that here so i want to be creating two images at once so one image is what one uh, two coins sorry one image so i want two images at once so i'll click on two so if i write a prompt i want them to give me like two images at once or three or four so let me compare them and see if i like so let me click on three three images so i'm going to write my prompt this is where you put in your prompt okay you put your prompt here so i'm going to write my prompt select all so this is a prompt that i want to write i just instead design a beautiful looking wall for youtube so that's that uh, let me say youtube studio anyway that's cool so this is the prompt that i want to use and i'll just click on generate so since i said three images here at once so i'll be wasting or using six coins so let's click on generate so you gotta wait for it to happen all right so these are pictures these are some studios that you can also use so it depends so you can this is something i created a long time ago so it depends if you like any of them you just need to click on it and download it into your phone if you also want to change the prompt change the prompt and keep altering the prompt until you keep generating until you 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 know you get the right thing for you if you want any of them you just click on it and this is the download button right here and you get into your phone so that's how you can get the background for your video so let's get into the last step which is the video editing all right guys so let's get into the video editing so i'll be using CapCut to do to change the background 
I know on my channel I'll be talking about InShot a lot and I'll show you guys at the end of this video why I prefer CapCut to do this. So watch this to the end because I'll also use InShot at the end. Alright, so CapCut is very easy. If you can use InShot, you can use CapCut, but I will make an intro video to CapCut. So it's a very easy application. So when you open CapCut, this is the home page. Okay, and you click on new project. Then you're going to click on photos. So we should add the studio that we downloaded, the studio picture. Alright, now you can click on overlay. It's down here add overlay and then you can choose the video that you want to use so you're going to click on video and select the video so click on add you're going to wait for it to load depending on the length of your video Alright guys, so when your video loads, this is what's going to happen. So you can see our video is quite long. So I want to extend, so I'll touch on the background and extend it to the end of my video. Alright, so this is what we have. So this is our overlay that we added. This is it here. Okay, so now what you can do is you can control the size with your fingers next thing you can do go to highlight it and then you go to scroll down and go to remove bg it's down here click on auto removal and you're going to give it time for it to remove the background you can see the percentage going here Alright guys, the background has been removed. So now I can decide to put increase the size of my video, my overlay to be like this, and I scroll through. So it's pretty easy. Now if you want to add some effects on the background, you highlight it and go through editing option and then you look for effects and you add some effects to it if you wish. Look for filters. So we got filters down here, and then you can Go to filters and choose whatever effect you want and you add it to it you have to be connected to the internet as well so you see that's it so that's just it and when you're done you can choose your resolution frame rate and everything and then you save it in your phone then you can choose your resolution and everything then you save it in your phone by clicking here so it's pretty easy so i'm just gonna save that and when it gets to 100 that's it is done Alright guys, so with InShot it's very easy as well. So you just click on InShot, go to new project, start by adding a photo. So we're gonna add the studio. And then you can change your canvas to YouTube. And then extending this in InShot is easy. Just click hold and drag. And this is one thing I like InShot, it's very, very easy to use. So then next thing you go to PIP. Then you go to video and then you select the video you want to remove the background oh not this one sorry pip so you select the video you want to remove the background is this one so in short is very easy to use so you're going to go now to cut out and it's going to cut out the video you can see how fast it's running here so easy within short so when you cut it out the reason why i choose uh cap cut is because with InShot, if you look very very closely you can see this little white lines that shows you're not actually around or on the background you're not in that room around your image that's my problem with InShot. but apart from that there's nothing else it's quite good you can use it as well so it's very easy apart from that there's nothing there's no big deal if you look around this black this cap that i'm wearing you're going to see what i'm talking about you can see like this white line yeah, apart from that, it's good. There's no big deal with it. So you can use it in short as well. So when you're done editing, you want to add some filters, you go to filters and add it. And when you're done, you just click on save. And you also save that on your phone. Like I'm going to say I'm saving 2K. And I'm saving like 500p, 500 FPS and then save. This background is fake. 
So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create background like this. So 